Now that is covered all the way around and we let that sit and tomorrow it's going to be hard and you can throw mud on it. We'll coat it all again. I'll probably knock down some of the rough so I can get a piece of mesh to go over and I'll mesh it one more time with a 3 8 coat of mesh and then we'll be splatter texturing. So, okay, this one's just going to be a, a simple eight, uh, 3 8 with a coat of mesh and then I'll stable, I'll uh, splatter coat it when it's done. It's going to be simple. The first thing we do, like I said, is we go all the way around the rock to cut. All right, that's got it covered now to where there's no mesh visible from the surface. I'll let that set up a little bit and then I'll brush it in. I'm also going to go around the edge and trial the edge, but right now that bucket's got a little bit in it, not much. So I would just under 40 pounds because that was a half a bag and there's a good, you know, quart left of mud. All right, again, cold uh, morning out this morning and last night. Oh, this is stuff isn't setting up like it would in a normal, nice sunny summer day. But uh, these are green, still soft, but yet they're starting to dry out. They're lightening up. You can see some of the whitish kind of color there. This rock is really, really super light. Again, the bottom. Let's see if we can. You can see that this has got a little bit of an edge, not as much as the other ones though. I think when I mud this, I'll give this a little more thickness on the bottom, but this one's probably about, I'm going to say about 35 to 40 pounds approximately. And uh, really, the thing I'm going to do today, I'm not going to add any more mesh or any more mud. This is on a styrofoam base, which Styrofoam's garbage, but this is still very strong because of that that plug. It doesn't need the structural mud that uh, like the trash bag here would. But uh, I'm going to clean up that edge. I'm going to fatten up a little bit of mortar on the base to give that rim a little more strength. And then this is going to get splatter coated. This one, which was just the garbage bag with the mesh over it, is now again real strong. And it's just one coat. We're gonna do another uh, reinforced mud over the top of that and then splatter this. Okay, I had a little mud left from uh, mudding that expanded metal. So on this garbage bag rock, which is the muds, I can still put my finger in it and it dents, but I'm gonna splatter coat it. I added some glue to that mortar that I had. I've got about a third of a bucket. And I'm just gonna put this on here. It's gonna be a little gnarlier of a texture than all the rest, but. That's gutter. I think that's going to be my final on both of these. That's going to be textured and I'll let it dry. And it'll be good. We'll knock it down tomorrow. Those two are complete. The garbage bag with the styrofoam inside 
and the polystyrene foam core. Talk to you tomorrow. Both have been textured yesterday, both are dry. And I'm just gonna take this little sanding disc starting from the bottom and work my way around it. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock down this edge on both of the rocks, wash them, and then we'll be back in there to hydro seal them. And now, we still have our bag in here. Look Just thought I'd give you a look inside. It's, you can see the mesh is not totally encapsulated in this. And you can also see the, the, the high degree of overage that we have here. I mean, this is, this is probably a good four inches over. My hand is four inches and that's four inches. And that's, that's not necessary to have all that. I could have put some spray foam in there and filled that void and make the rod a little less heavy. But again, I can move this. I can put it down on the ground uh, where I want it. Right now, my goal here, again, just like in the other rock, is to get rid of the slag because it can chip when we go to move it. And then I'll sand, I already sanded this down, but I just got to do the chipping of this and lay it back on the table and we'll hydro seal after I washed it. All right, after I wash the rocks, I let them dry. They're not bone dry. Like I said, you want this glue to go on a dry surface. I'm rushing this. It'd be much better if it was dry. If the porosity isn't filled with water and you put glue on, it sucks it in. It makes a better bond. But right for now, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to paint brush. And I can spray this on with a pump sprayer, or airless, not an airless, uh, a gravity feed spray gun. I've got one sitting on the bench, but I want to go through all the mess of cleaning that out. Take me two seconds to brush this thing on and again I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll I'll be back with you and we'll do some hydro seal which is the final seal coat all right the the bonding agent the acrylic bonding agent is not completely dry and as I said guys make sure it's dry it's just going to when you put a wet on a dry it sucks in if this porosity is filled with a glue in this case you're not going to get that vacuum and I'm just rushing things because because I can but what I'm going to do now is just brush coat hydro seal all over these rocks and again for the sake of the video I'm going to do it once I'm going to work it in I don't want it to fill the definition but I want it to coat everything two coats one now one about eight to twelve hours even the next day I want two coats of this on there and it's real fast and easy and uh it's going to give us a waterproofing. And again, because you're not using water, you're using the glue as your liquid. It's really a plastic. It's not a cementation. It's cementitious, but it's more of a, a, a synthetic cement than it is. It's like a plastic. It's not waterborne. And it's really a Teflon coat when it comes to durability, scratchability, stainability, water intrusion, all those areas. And the other thing is, if, if when we get into the panels, when I go to make rocks with panels for you, you're going to see color difference in the different panels and the seaming. And this unifies the color all to one color. Oh, that one hit the wall. Good thing it's a uh, strong rock right. there we go in like Flynn so that was the rock that was made with the garbage bag and again like I said I'm gonna stain that I'm gonna put the styrofoam mud one right over here next And there we got it. So out of the 
rocks that we did, the styrofoam one was the least weight. I think that the uh, uh, cardboard, let's see, was that the cardboard? Yeah, that was the cardboard. That one weighed the most. Probably just gonna dress it up with some gravel after I stain it, and it'll be a done deal.